So for those who will not, who were not able to attend our class, I'll just send it to our group chat. <laughs> Okay, so ano nakikita niyo sa inyong screen? Okay, on ang inyong mga microphone. Yes, sir. Okay. So last meeting, we already have discussed the different ICT tools that can be used to creatively represent a literary text. And uh, I also believe that it's not only in my class that you have used all these ICT tools or software or applications. And uh, also in our previous lesson, you already have learned about the different multimedia formats that you can use to creatively understand, interpret, or share your ideas with on different literary texts. And today, this is just a continuation of our uh, previous lesson. Now I will be introducing to you an analysis of an anecdote to further improve your ICT skills. But before that, let's have first a review about our previous lesson last meeting. So I will be sharing to you this slide, you read it, and then you answer. May I ask? May I ask Joanna Marie to read the first slide? Joanna. This refers to st stylized method that represents the appearance of words within a textual content such as website, articles, pictures, databases, and others. Okay, so what is that? What is Tag the jumbled cloud. word? Tag cloud. Okay, the answer is tag cloud. Very good. How about the second one? How about the second one? Okay, Joshua, you read. It is electronic medium for the recording, copying, replaying, broadcasting, and displays, the displaying of moving visual. Video. Okay, the answer is video. Very video. good. That is correct. How about the third slide? Who will read? You raise your hand if you want to read it. Anyone? Walang nag raise Okay, Joshua again. Joshua raised his hand. You read and you answer. Mm -hmm. A website containing short articles, code posts, updated regularly by the same person or by people interested in the same topic, blog. I, blog. <laughs> ano? Blog. It is blog. Okay, very good. How about the next slide? Awag na si Joshua, yung iba naman. Let's have... Um, tingin tayo dito. Let's have Jovan. Jovan, please read the slide and you answer. What would be the jumbled word? These are Jovan. series of, these are series of slide, slides of being displayed on a large screen using a projector. Uh, wait, sir. Okay. What is your answer? Slide show. Slideshow. Presentation. Okay, very good. The answer is slideshow presentation. Okay, how about the last one? May I have... Sino pa bang available? May I have 
Samuel. You read and you answer. Samuel? Samuel, kung nandyan ka, pagalawin mo yung baso. <laughs> Wala yata si Samuel. <laughs> Wala. Samuel, nandyan ka ba? Wala yata si Samuel. It's a graphical way to okay. present ideas. Ideas and concepts. Okay, what is that? Sandali <laughs> sa mind. Sige, take your time. Mind mapping. Okay, very good. The answer is mind mapping. So congratulations to those who have answered correctly and to those who have not recited yet. It is your turn later on. So my question is, have you heard about an anecdote or have you read one? Have you ever retold the personal experience of someone? Or how do you find recalling your past experiences? Alam nyo ba kung anong ibig sabihin ng anecdote? Or any idea about it? Anyone from the group? May idea ba kayo? Kung nandyan kayo, pagalawin nyo yung baso. Wala. Okay, so an anecdote is a short entertaining or interesting story about a real incident. Okay, so tignan natin yung mga words na important dyan. Sabi niya, it is a short entertaining or interesting story. So basically, when we are telling a story to someone, say our friend, our sibling, our parents, or our or people we do not know, and then you are telling about a real incident or a real situation about a real person, then definitely that falls under a anecdote. And anecdote is very important because um, Filipinos are very fond of sharing stories. Not just stories, but also humorous stories or sometimes frightening or sometimes interesting, inspirational, and so on and so forth. Let's look at this picture. Okay, so in the picture that you are seeing on your screens, we have a group of students. They are talking with each other and telling how amazing their um, pets are. So one of the students is telling his classmates about how he, how his dog um, how he, how his dog is um, giving him happiness or how his dog cuddles him whenever he goes home so kinukuwento niya na yung aso ko alam niyo ba pag uwi ko siya yung nakakatanggal ng stress because umiikot siya sa paako as if he is telling na magpahinga muna ako because i have a very busy day so may reaction naman yung mga kaklase niya. Meron nagsabi ng wow. Meron din nagsabi ng amazing. Meron din nagsabi ng oh so sweet. Okay, so yung kwento ng male student about his dog is already an anecdote. And these anecdotes can be about any topic under the sun. And mind you, again, I am reminding you that it is only a very short story or a very short narrative about a real incident that can make a person laugh or ponder over a topic. Okay, yan yung example ko kanina. So, a group of students share a story about their pets and one tells about how his dog cuddles every time he comes home from school. Then that student has just shared an anecdote. Okay. So, anecdotes also has purposes. Meron akong inilagay dyan na apat na purposes of an anecdote. The first one is to bring cheer. So, yung cheer can also be um, a word for happiness or light moments, mapapatawa ka, something like that. Another purpose is to reminisce or to remember something that happened in your past or your experience in the past. Another purpose is to caution persons that you are speaking with or talking to. And the fourth purpose is to persuade or inspire. So I will be showing you videos of how do these purposes bring um, happiness or remind 
per people give caution and inspire other people. So watch this. Oh anak, kumusta ang unang araw mo sa klase? Okay naman po, Nay. Ang laki po ng eskwelahan, kaya nawala po ako. Mali po ang klase yung pinasukan ko. Pinagtinginan po nila ako kasi ako lang yung grade 11. Grade 2 pala sila lahat. Tumawa sila at nakitawa na rin ako. <laughs> kaya ayun, naging kaibigan ko na sila lahat. Okay, so that is an example of an anecdote that brings cheer. Okay? So sometimes when we are eating our dinner or our lunch or our breakfast, stories may pop up anytime and this sometimes make people laugh just like what you have um, seen in this video. Nagkukwento yung student about her experience during the first day at school. Nawala daw siya sa kanyang classroom, iba yung napasok kanyang room, only to find out na she is just a grade 11 student, pumasok siya sa classroom ng grade 12. But the thing is, naging friends niya yung mga students na grade 12 at tinatawanan na lang niya yung kanyang experience. So see, that's how an anecdote works. Pag nag-open ka ng story with your family, nagkakaroon kayo ng bonding, mas nasi-share mo sa kanila yung mga experiences mo. And then, syempre, ang positive side nun is nagiging open kayo sa family. And... The main purpose of that is to bring cheer or laughter. So nagtatawanan na lang sila because of your anecdote. Another example is to reminisce. Okay, so in most anecdotes, people are talking about their experiences in the past and they try to look back in moments in their lives and share the joy of that time with others. Um, pag naaalala nila yung uri ng anecdote na ito o yung purpose ng anecdote na ito, minsan napapangiti na lang tayo. Say for example, naalala mo yung crush mo ng grade 10 na ngayon wala na sa pisat at nag-aaral na sa ibang school. Or naalala mo yung teacher mo na masungit na laging nagagalit na ngayon patay na. O ba? So those are examples or examples of purposes of an anecdote which is to reminisce. Here is another example of that purpose. Watch this video. Nay, nakakita na ba kayo ng kalabaw? Oo naman, nanak. Noon sa probinsya, sinasakyan ko ang kalabaw na pang-araro ng lolo niyo. Masaya ang buhay sa bukid. Nakakamit. Okay, so yun ang kwento ng kanyang nanay when her nanay is still in the province. Maganda yung kanyang experience. She experienced riding on a carabao at siguro doon sa provin probinsya nakakakita, nakakakita sila ng magandang tanawin, tapos fresh air and pag naalala niya yun, parang nakaka-feel siya ng happiness or joy but not all the time yung mga nare-remember natin are happiness. Sometimes our experiences in the past can also bring us sadness or yung mga melancholic experiences natin. Um, minsan maiiyak tayo but but then again ang purpose nga ng anecdote when we are trying to tell these stories to our friends or to our family members mas nakakagaan sa atin and sometimes naalala din natin na once in our lives na experience natin yung isang bagay so that is the second purpose of an anecdote which is to reminisce the third purpose is to caution ano naman itong ibig sabihin ng caution to caution or um, to remind them of something which can be hazardous or pwedeng magbigay ng um, pangit na experience or pangit na incident. Okay, so sometimes just giving rules is not effective. Lalong-lalo na sa mga bata, pag sinabi mo na huwag kang pupunta dyan kasi pag pumunta ka dyan, uh, magkakaroon ka ng pangit na experience. Yung, yung ganon na yung sasabihin mo lang yung rules or kaunting paalala, hindi siya magiging effective. So sometimes, sharing frightening stories or dangers can be helpful for some people to realize the possible consequences of their actions. So let us um, watch this next video, another example of a cautionary anecdote. Tignan natin kung paano ginamit yung anecdote to give caution. Excited na po ako matuto mag-drive. Turuan nyo naman po ako. 
Oo naman anak. Pero bago yan, gusto ko lang sabihin sa iyo na ang buhay natin ay isa lang. Palagi isa lang alang ang batas trapiko. Maalala mo yung nangyari noong nakaraang taon? Napakabilis magmaneho ng driver, kaya ang aksidente at maraming buhay ang nawala. Kaya anak, mag-ingat palagi at sumunod sa mga batas trapiko. Opo tayo. Okay, so narinig ninyo doon sa video, bukod doon sa sinabi ng tatay na you follow the rules while you are on the street. Diba? So bukod doon, kasi syempre pag ganun lang, parang very light reminder, sometimes hindi natin masyadong, hindi natin masyadong sineseryoso. But if we use an anecdote or a short story about a real situation, nasasabihin mo, tignan mo yung uh, isang rider before. Na, napanood mo yun sa TV, di ba? Sabi ng tatay. Dahil hindi siya nag-ingat, hindi niya sinunod yung batas trapiko, he met an accident. So na-accidente siya. Ano nangyari nung na-accidente? Baka naputulan ng paa, o kaya nabalian ng buto, o kaya worse, baka namatay pa. So yun yung purpose nung to caution. Sometimes sharing frightening stories can be a reminder to all of us not just to follow the rules but also to become um, cautionary na mas maging mas maingat kumpara doon sa pagsunod lang ng kung anong sinabi sa atin ng mas nakakatanda. Okay, and the fourth purpose of an anecdote is to yan may pumasok pang isa. Is to persuade or inspire. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng persuade? Anyone? Yung inspire, madali lang alam yan, mag, magbigay ng inspirasyon. Pero anong ibig sabihin ng persuade? Sinong nakakaalam ng meaning ng word na persuade? Okay, Jason. Convince me. Manghikayat po. Manghikayat. Ay, manghikayat ba? Ang akala ko yung first, persuade, yun yung ano, pag nasugat ka, lalagyan agad ng gamot. First aid po yan. Ay, first aid yun. Ah, sorry. Okay, so first aid is manghikayat. O, last, last joke ko na yun, walang tumawa. Okay, so first aid or inspire. Sometimes, people share stories on how they surpass struggles in life. And this, most of the time, gives encouragement to others who have been in similar situations. And this conveys successes in life. Yung pag nagkukwento ka ng sarili mong experience or ano ba dito, yung mga struggles or obstacles that you have been through, kukwento mo yun sa ibang tao, sometimes you persuade them or you inspire them. So let, uh, let us watch this next video if ever this uh, brings us to persuasion or inspiration. Okay, kalamba. Parang lalimata na ginisip mo. Nagkabahan lang po, sir. Meron kasi kami remedial class ng social communications at hindi po kasi ako kampante. Natural lang naman kabahan. May sudyante ako noon, nasa high school na siya, pero hindi pa rin nakagabasa ng maayos. Nagpursiki siya. Kada oras ko siya nagkikita sa library at nire-record ang boses niya habang nagbabasa. Alam mo bang nakagraduate siya na may medalya bilang pinakamahusay na student broadcaster? Kaya ikaw, kaya mo rin yan. Salamat po, sir. Nagsisikapan ko po. Okay, so medyo nakaka-inspire yun. Pero um, these inspiring stories does not must not only be uh, heard. Dapat isinasabuhay din siya. Um, there are a lot of inspirational stories that we are, uh, that we read or that we hear or even we see them with our bare eyes but sometimes we just only look at them we only listen to them we only read them okay so itong purpose ng anecdote is for us also to become good followers of whatever these people are telling us if it is an inspirational story uh, let us um, also do the same kasi syempre hindi naman magiging successful ang isang tao pag hindi siya dumaan sa pagsubok So, ganun din yung purpose ng anecdote. If these stories inspires, is inspire us, then get the best, uh, ano ba tawag dito, yung mga best practices na ginawa ng tao and then we apply them in our real lives. Okay? Or sometimes yung nagpa-persuade, paano ba yung nagpa-persuade? Yung sabihin mo, um, ang kukunin ko na lang na course is Humes kasi walang math yun, walang science. 
ano lang yun, sulat-sulat lang. Okay, so merong isang student na humes din. Parang sabi niya, ganun na baka baba ang tingin ng mga students sa humanities and social sciences na strand. Then sasabihin niya na hindi lang sulat-sulat ang humanities and social sciences. From the words humanities at social sciences, it is uh, bigger than you think. ba diba? Mas nagiging um, nalalaman natin yung pagkatao natin, nalalaman natin yung mga kaya natin gawin kasi meron din siyang arts, at nalalaman natin kung paano maging makipagkapwa-tao. So those are some examples of persuading people. Kaya nga pag pinapersuade kayo, pag alam yung positive, you get them. Pag pinapersuade kayo sa negative na side, you do not follow that. Okay? So those are just some or four purposes of anecdotes. And anecdotes, again, are short personal stories and have been used by many other people. And these anecdotes have countless purposes and make situations more interesting for both the character and the audience. Okay, so paano, paano natin ito i-apply sa ating klase na 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world? So, pag magsusulat na kayo later on ng sarili ninyong mga stories, this anecdote is a very effective literary device or device to make your stories more colorful, more um, lively. Kasi pwede siyang gamitin when you start or when you begin your stories. And they are very important because they emphasize the usefulness of personal experience. So hindi ka na mahihirapan na magsulat or mag-insert uh, ng yung story because that is already your personal experience. Next to that is the use of facts and personal perspectives. And also, these anecdotes represent the variation of experiences to inspire compassion. Kasi syempre, we have a lot of experiences and these experiences vary from one person to another. Say for example, lahat tayo meron tayong experience na first day at school. Pero kung aalamin natin yung kwento ng bawat isa, iba-iba yung experience nila during their first day at school. And also, pag ikukwento natin to, nagsishare tayo ng ibang perspective sa buhay. Yung iba siguro maganda yung kanilang experience during their first day at school. Yung iba siguro bad. Yung, yung iba siguro masaya. Yung iba siguro hindi. So these anecdotes have countless purposes and make situations more interesting to the character and the audience pag tayo ay magsusulat na ng ating mga stories. Okay, so any questions so far? Any questions, clarifications, or violent reactions? Meron ba? Andiyan pa ba kayo? <laughs> Wala na? Wala naman na? Okay. So how about this one? Let's answer this one. How do these anecdotes improve your communication, especially during these trying times because of the pandemic? Siyempre, nasa bahay lang kayo lahat, di ba? Hindi kayo lumalabas. Paano siya nakakatulong sa inyong communication with your family? O kaya minsan lumalabas din kayo, pumupunta kayo sa school, you meet your classmates. Paano siya nakakatulong? Paano siya nakakapagpaganda ng communication flow? Anyone from the from the class? Tanungin natin si, walang nagtataas ng kamay. Let's have, sino bang hindi nag-recite? Juson. Sir, para ano, makilala. 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 Makilala ang? Makilala o malaman yung experience. Okay, so, para makilala or malaman yung experience ng iba. O, oh, isa pa, how about the others? Because we only have um, less than 10 minutes. Tignan natin kung ano ang sagot ni Samuel Vidal. Paano nakakatulong ang pagkukwento ng mga short stories whenever you start a conversation? Samuel. 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 Wala si Samuel. Tarihin natin yung iba. Last answer. Um, how about si Mara? Mara Pulikay.
baka aka mute kayo man sasalita kayo ko na ringel wala din olas na joanna marie joanna marie andyan ka pa ba aba lang may video daw joanna joanna ano po yung question sir Ito yung question. How do these anecdotes improve your communication, especially during these trying times because of the pandemic? Paano siya nakakatulong ngayon na once in a while lang kayo magkikita-kita ng inyong mga kaklase? Paano? Paano? Pwede po sa social media po siya. O paano? Nag-video call kayo. Kasi pag personal, di ba, pag nagkukwentuhan kayo, mas madami pang ano, sapakan tsaka tawanan bago yung kwento. Ganun ba kayo? Or hindi? Or baka ako lang yun? May kasama pa ba ako? <laughs> Parang wala na. Okay, so uh, let's end this um, class. So always remember that anecdote is a short, interesting story about a real incident or a situation or a person and its purpose is to bring cheer, to caution, to reminisce and to persuade or inspire. Okay, so magkukwis pa sana tayo pero wala nang time. So for your assignment, for your assignment, pakipicturean na lang sa inyong screen for your performance task to be submitted during the weekends. Using TikTok, create a short video of your usual conversation with your friends or classmates or family members or any person that you are talking to or speaking with. And the characters must only be your self alone. So pag nag-tiktok kayo, di ba may mga napapanood kayong ganyan? So yun yung gagamitin nyo din. But with the use of an anecdote, your personal experience, and that will be submitted on or before 5 p.m. of Monday. Okay? Malinaw ba? Okay, okay. Any questions, clarifications, suggestions, or violent reactions? Meron ba? None. None. Okay. Okay. So, paki, ano na, paki open ang inyong mga camera at magpicture na tayo. Stop share ko na. Paki open ang inyong mga camera. Joanna, Margaret. Joanna, paki open ang camera. Picture mo pa kayo. Wait lang, isi-send ko sa inyo yung picture. Sige. Sige. Eh. Sika to laba. So, on, on natin at humans be. Okay. So, maraming salamat sa pag-attend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's see each other again next week for our next lesson. Okay, maraming salamat. Bye. Bye. Thank you for attending the class. I-end ko na.